All right, welcome back to another Roland TR8S tutorial. My name is Unit E, and I'm here to show you how to update your TR8S with the new firmware 2.0. The first thing you're going to want to do before anything, especially with this 2.0 update, is to back up your system that you have now. To do so, hit Utility, hold Shift, and scroll your category up top left there, all the way over to Utility. Let go of shift and scroll over to backup. Go ahead, hit enter. If your SD card's ready, mine was just utilized. See if I can get that working again. There you go. Should ask you to save as. You can rename it. Or if you want to overwrite one that is currently on there, you can do that. Once it is finished backing up, it will say completed and take you back to your previous screen. From here, go to your computer and navigate to the Roland TR8S product page where they have the downloads tab. Click it and be taken to the updates and drivers where you'll find system program version 2.0. And it is a list on how to tell your version, the update history, and instructions on how to do what we're doing. If this is an easier way for you, stop the video now and go ahead and read this. There will also be a part on updating the tone data since there is a lot of new tones that are entered and you might not want them overwriting your current tones. When you're finished, at the bottom, agree to the EULA, then download the file. Choose where you want to download it and save it in that location. I have it here in my firmware folder and a Roland folder on my hard drive. This is a zip file. Unzip it how your operating system has you unzip it. And it should give you a folder. I take the zip file and place it in the folder to keep it clean. And in case you ever need to transfer it, it's zipped. Just me. But the file you want is the TR8S UP bin file. Highlight that, and then go ahead and go back to your TR8S. On the TR8S, you have two ways of getting the update file onto it. You could either take the SD card out and put it in your computer, or enter storage mode and connect the TR8S through USB. We'll do storage mode. The same is for the SD card. Simply turn it off, take it out, and put it in the computer, and the rest is the same. For storage mode, make sure your TR8S is on and that you have one end of a USB cable connected to either the computer or the TR8S. Before making the second connection, hold shift on your TR8S. When you plug it in, you should see the words storage mode. All your lights will turn off. You'll see storage mode and you should see it pop up in your finder on the computer. Let's go ahead and minimize this. And you'll see on my desktop now, we have a TR8S drive. Double click it to open it. You will see right here in the root drive, there is already an update folder, a uh, file, sorry. Simply delete that out of there. And then drag and drop or copy and paste your new 2.0 update bin file, not the folder, the bin file, into the TR8S drive. Do not go into any subfolders. Simply put it right here in the root. Once you have that, eject your drive the way your operating system recommends. Once it is safe to remove it, go ahead and unplug the USB from your TR8S. When you do, you'll see it comes back to your previous screen. From here, turn your TR8S off. Now is the time you would reinsert the SD card if you took it out. And then when you turn it back on, make sure you hold Shift first and then turn your TR8S back on. It will say Update SD Card USB. Once it detects, let go of Shift and let it do its thing. This will take a few moments. We'll be right back. 
Once it is finished, you can turn your power off and then back on. You'll immediately see version 2.0 show up. Now, nothing should really take effect. We could try and look here. You'll see an F. So it has loaded the instruments in. But I always recommend a factory reset after doing a firmware update. With this one in mind, whatever you factory reset, it is going to wipe all the tones out of those kits and it's going to change everything. This is why you have the backup. So if you want to pick and choose individual kits or patterns to bring back in, you can do so, or you can choose to leave those as is and you have your instruments. So with that said, once you have done the firmware update, you will have to do a factory reset to get the full effect of the 2.0 update. Go to your utility menu, hold shift, scroll over to utility, scroll over to factory reset. Here's your target. You could reset everything. You could reset just the kit if you want to keep all your patterns intact, but you want some new kits. Certain kit numbers will be replaced with the new. FM kits. So this is where you can see some of your stuff get overwritten. Choose this if you're okay with that. You do have a backup that you can import your own kits back in. Pattern is another. If you have patterns you don't want overwritten, that's your what's going to happen with some new patterns that come in. I'm going to do all so you can see. Once the factory reset is finished, you can turn your power off and then back on. You'll see now that pattern one one is a new pattern. It is no longer the Berlin flyover and other patterns have changed as well. Quite a bit of them have changed which can be fresh start for some people. And pattern bank three, they begin the original patterns. And this will go all the way until bank eight, pattern three. So they have preset all patterns and you're left with the final 13 original patterns as user definable. This is all that's left when you do a full factory reset and you can go into utility, go over to utility. You can restore. So restoring this, when it is complete, you can cycle the power by turning it off and then back on again. You will notice that you should still see version 2.0 appear and all your original patterns and kits should be back to how they were before you did the update. I can see all my originals are here. And I can tell you, going to an empty one, doing an instrument, if you see an F up here, that is the new FM synth modeled instruments. They're all there. That's how you back up, do the 2.0 firmware update, do a factory reset to ensure all settings have been changed and then restoring a backup of all your original kits and patterns with the new instruments 
still intact. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Be sure to click the thumbs up if this video helped you and subscribe for more videos and ring that bell to be notified of all future videos. Stay tuned for more. I have them on the individual features of the new 2.0 update. And as always, thanks for watching.